guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. I wanted to talk about my Chanel Jumbo obsession today and share my collection. Maybe this will help you guys out if you're looking for a Chanel Jumbo yourself on the secondhand market. Now, this will not help you if you're looking for a Chanel Jumbo new from boutique. I think the current retail now of a Chanel Jumbo in Australia is $14,000. $300. I'll also put up the USD price which is a very expensive and the classic jumbo has a double flap and yeah it is gorgeous I love the classic jumbo as well I low-key would love to own the classic with the double flap but I wanted to share with you guys the three jumbos that I have collected over the last few months or probably month. That's how crazy I am. So the first jumbo that I picked up pre-loved was this um, silver jumbo in lambskin. And I picked this up for 3,300 or 3,400 Australian dollars. Now, when I first got this, it was a little bit worn and sad, but I did kind of resuscitate it a little bit with some aloe vera leather conditioner. I'll link it below and I also found that buffing it really helped. Now definitely if you want to buy a pre-loved lambskin jumbo it's pretty hard to find one looking brand new. I mean you might be able to but I find that with some of the lambskin leathers over the years they do kind of develop their own patina and they kind of start to get a little bit I don't know, like they age. So I feel like as time goes by, it kind of gets a bit more like dry and thick. So I don't know, just something I've noticed with the vintage bags as well. Now this particular bag is from 2010. So it is like 12 years old. And I would say the leather on it is not perfect. It's still got some kind of shine and the quilts are very puffy. I do recommend this kind of a jumbo if you find one in better condition you might probably pay like I, w I would say that most commonly these kinds of jumbos pre-loved go for six thousand dollars and over um so i got mine for a pretty good deal and i was okay with the current wear and tear now with this kind of jumbo the grommets are kind of like this whereas on the newer jumbos the grommets will be more like this and they have the double flap in terms of the hardware the silver i actually think really contrasts and stands out on my outfit quite a lot a lot of people will say that gold hardware you know it's a little bit more contrasting and really shows like it really i don't know adds something to your outfit but i actually think the silver in this case because the chain is so thick it actually really stands out and especially with what i'm wearing today because i have this yellow tone top the silver actually contrasts and pops really beautifully so i think silver is really still quite a striking choice and it's a little bit more edgy than gold i feel like gold has a little bit more of a mature and classic look I have a bag organizer in here from KD Australia but I'm sure you could get one from Samorga or anywhere really that this kind of style is pretty popular now. The next jumbo I got is this um, vintage jumbo. This one is from 1997 so it is you know older than that other one. The difference with this one is is that it's got two faces. It, chains they don't move so they just stay like that like you can't adjust the chain length at all i also find that with this jumbo it actually sits a lot higher than the classic jumbo so this one actually sits up here whereas the most jumbo bags will actually sit quite low depending on how tall you are as well this one sits more down at my hip bone whereas this one actually sits at a more proportionate length now if you did want this one to sit higher you could definitely like open the inside and maybe tie a ribbon tie a ribbon here and like join it together so it's shorter so that's not really an issue and actually when i'm wearing like really oversized coats i don't mind the look of a longer chain but i do kind of find that this is a little bit probably more of an ideal drop for me also, I've noticed that the chains on this one are a lot thinner than the classic jumbo chains, which tend to be a lot thicker than the medium size. So the medium size chains, you can see, are like this thickness. 
and this is the jumbo which is the reason why i really fell in love with the jumbo as well because i just think that the chains are really epic and they're really comfortable to wear as well because they do have a lot of like leather intertwined between the links this one this one i am wearing today i'll show you guys what fits in this bag yeah this is one of my favorites a lot of you guys kind of said to sell this one when i got my third one but I don't know, I really like the look of this one and it's like a really practical shape for me. Um, I did order a bag organizer from KD Australia. I tried to like custom make one, but it still doesn't fit in here. I don't know, I think because the shape is so weird. And it does have these weird little dents down here. I have seen videos of people like put their bags in pillowcases and like steam them to get all these little like creases out. I don't know if I want to do that, but I actually don't mind having these like little bits of wear on it anyway because it is an older bag and it kind of just shows that it's a vintage style and it gives the bag a little bit of character so I have put like sometimes I put tissue down here or like bubble wrap just to puff that out and I have found that stuffing my bags they can kind of sh develop a nicer shape over time when they sit on your shelf um but yeah that's something you can probably fix at a bag spa or just by steaming the bag or something but it's something that i haven't really tried to fix yet um those little dints there so today guys i have in this compartment my little twin stars cosmetics case the jumbos literally they fit enough for every day for me like they won't fit a laptop they might fit an, an ipad but i find like you know i like to carry these kinds of sizes of cosmetics cases and these definitely wouldn't fit in like a medium classic flap or a mini so i think for day to day for me currently the jumbo is just like the perfect size so i've got my chanel little egg in here i have some natio lip gloss and i also have clans lip lip perfector and i also put my keys in here just because i find that keys can sometimes scratch the interior of your bag so i always like to keep my keys in some sort of like fabric pouch or something but today i'm just keeping it in here so that fits really easily into this front pocket and all this stuff will feel fit into the other jumbo bags i'm showing you guys today as well I also have a little, you know, muesli bar if I get hungry. It's nice to have a little snack, especially with a coffee. Instead of, like, buying a cookie, you just, like, eat a little snack. Um, you know, something like this is not going to always fit in one of my mini bags either. So I find that really practical. Um, on the other side, I like to put other little trinkets. So you can definitely fit your phone in here as well. But I've got my daily notebook i got this recently but it's been really helping me organize my thoughts and my life and stuff it's yeah it's so cute it's just like filled with like cute little pictures but i find actually having a notebook to be very helpful and just like me planning things and um just my card holder basically so um definitely still fits a whole lot more but you know things like these chunky items like all this they're not going to really fit in any of these bags definitely fits in the puzzle bag which is why i've been loving the puzzle bag lately and it will definitely fit in my pico tin as well um but a lot of my bags tend to be these like very mini bags and i don't know i think that's just why i'm like awakened to the jumbo all of a sudden i'm like oh my gosh like the jumbo is like such a practical and usable size now if you don't carry really chunky stuff like this and you just carry like a card holder a phone and one lip gloss then i would say like these sizes are a lot more practical and they're a lot more i don't know they're smaller and more discreet as well a jumbo does make quite a statement on your outfit which i also personally love and they can be a little bit more loud than like these kinds of sizes and i think the trend for a while was definitely to get these like really discreet mini bags because they make you look kind of cuter as well, having the, like a little novelty Chanel bag. And also, not to mention the price on the minis was a lot more affordable, you know, back in 2017. And the jumbo was always the most expensive kind of thing to get. But now, guys, the tables have turned, guys. Like on the pre-love market, a jumbo is like cheaper than a mini now than buying a mini in the store. So I actually think like the jumbo is a good thing to buy now, pre-loved. And I can I can kind of foresee it going up in value in like five years when people realize they need to carry like their face masks and their hand sanitizers and like more hand cream and stuff and like this is just going to be a little bit more difficult again it definitely depends on your lifestyle it depends on a lot of things but i actually find that like i need to carry more stuff 
and I still want to wear my Chanel bag. Now, the final one I'm going to show you guys is the one I've purchased recently. I got this from a seller in Queensland. And, oh, guys, so for that other jumbo, so the double-sided one, I got this from Cash Converters. And it was, I think it was 3000 400 Australia. It was about the same price as the first one I got. So total I've spent is 7,000 ish on both. Um, and as I said, the retail of one jumbo is, uh, 14,200. So I've still paid half the price of one new jumbo from the store and I've bought two jumbos. Um, and you can totally do the same guys. Like there's a lot of deals on the pre-love market. You just have to like kind of stalk eBay, stalk all the consignment stores, cash converters, like there are a lot of places you can kind of look at. And even in your local Facebook groups, there's always people selling these kinds of bags. So the final bag I got, I actually paid a lot more for. This one was 4,900, which is quite expensive, but it's got the massive CC on it. Now these a few years back were a lot cheaper to buy in the pre-love market, but there has been a trend to kind of revisit this massive CC. I think definitely with like 90s throwback trend and whatever. And this, this kind of massive CC jumbo, they were doing the massive CC during the 80s and the 90s. And actually I recently watched Babsy Goes Vintage video about her 80s Chanel jumbo in red with the massive CC absolutely amazing guys hers is from the 80s so the grommets are actually like this and it has the quilting all over it oh my gosh it is so dreamy but definitely you can find Chanel jumbos from the 80s and the early 90s with the massive CC and this particular bag is from 1994 so it's the oldest one I have and it features the vertical quilts which I personally really love the vertical quilts so I think it just has a different look now the drop of this one is very similar to the silver one it's a bit of a longer drop and the chains on this one i think are a bit thicker than the silver maybe just slightly so it does have the really oversized chunky chain yeah and with the gold hardware it doesn't really show up it doesn't like contrast as much on my current outfit because I'm wearing like a yellow top, but it does definitely stand out. And this massive CC logo, it is just like such a vibe. Like seriously, I love it. Um, out of all three, this one is definitely like the showstopper just because of, you know, the chunky chains, the giant CC, and I think the vertical stripes actually look really amazing as well. Now I did condition this bag, put leather conditioner, and when I first bought it, there was definitely some extreme denting here which I have stuffed the bag to try and uh, smooth that out a little bit but it's still definitely there so I could potentially take this to leather surgeons as it get it kind of fixed up another thing I noticed with this bag is that one of these grommets unscrewed when I first had it and it was like loose so I just had to screw it back together and it kind of it's okay now but you might find that sometimes these unscrew if it's an older bag as I said it's from 1994 so it's like over 20 years <laughs> guys my video cut out so i was saying this is over 20 years old so you might find that on the older ones that they have a you know characteristics of wear but if you do find one in pristine condition oh my gosh guys hold on to that because that is like a gem and you will often find those on the pre-love market for like extortionate amounts now i managed to buy three jumbos for less than the price of one new jumbo um and some of you guys will argue that's not worth it like you should have just gone to the boutique and bought a brand new jumbo but i disagree guys i actually think that the single flap jumbos they're a lot more practical to use than the double flap jumbos i would low-key kind of want a double flap jumbo as well just because i'm curious but i, I honestly think that the, the jumbos at the moment are just you know they're really well priced on the pre-love market they're a little bit more practical for day to day and um yeah i hope you guys found this helpful if you are looking for a jumbo bag there are a lot of different styles on the market my friend romina rose may um she has an epic youtube channel guys we met through youtube uh she really wants the extra large jumbo bag um so she's been kind of like had that on her wish list and that is also one that i would love to get like the one even bigger than this it's like got the quilting and it's it's like super massive that one's also really awesome you can definitely get one more caviar variations as well um and you know all through the 80s and 90s there were different kinds of jumbo variations patent leather different colors i mean it would be great to get like a red one or something but you know only, we'll see guys i might collect more i don't know um, 
but yeah there's a lot to explore in terms of vintage jumbo bags and yeah um thanks for watching my video today let me know which one was your favorite and who knows if i'll keep all three i mean for now i think it's a bit excessive having three jumbos but i literally use all three and they are my go-to bags and i have been selling a few bags lately i sold I've already sold five bags to my close friends and I did kind of put that towards another bag so I'm going to be showing you guys that bag um, in the next, I don't know, few videos maybe. I want to kind of build up to it um, because it's a big one guys so um, yeah so thanks for watching my channel and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!